Okay, this next video is just going to look at basically how to find the maximum score. Now, what's been left in the scores module is an option to basically find the max score ID. And this gets starts with a maximum of zero, so assuming it hasn't actually got one yet. And four, I zero starting at the starting point to the upper bound. If the ID that we've currently got is greater than what we've the max we've already found, then we're going to update it to be the current max, and then go through and get the next one. So it's going to go through every single item and check them. And then finally, get that max, store it in this, and because this is a function, it will return this bit, which we can then use later on. This function is actually used in, where is it? I think it's in the load and save data. So when we are saving our scores, what we've done, actually no, it's in the score module. In the add player, we get a maximum ID, so we go and run that function. That will return us you know, the current maximum value. We add one onto it, and that's our new max, and we store that as our ID. So that way we've always got an incrementing ID in our procedure. And that get, can get stored in a data table, means we can actually search for unique items. Now, in order to implement our max score, so it's another function that's going to return something. In this case, we're just going to get it to print out a little message box when we run a button. We need our max. Currently, it's going to be zero, because we're not going to assume there is a current score. Four, i is equal to zero. So actually just using the same as what's here before. that next i and then f scores bracket i so this is where it changes and this is the only change dot score is greater than or equal to max then uh, I always put this bracket in force a habit Dot score, so that returns that nice little bit of information. So it's quite useful for returning our scores, finding out maximum ones. Obviously, we could, you know, give it a player and find the maximum player one. Then we'd have to compare the player name as well. But those are extensions you can sort of look at. It will be, you know, those extensions will be linked in with the find player, which you can have a go at yourself. So that is how we go and implement finding a max score. Obviously there's finding a minimum score. There's other things you might want to find as well. But you can have a go at those.